Okay, okay. As promised, I will now go through the uh, setup and installation of the GR World app. So I'm going to start off by getting rid of it. Delete that. That's gone. Uh, on the camera, um, because it relies on Bluetooth for the initial setup, uh, on the camera I am going into um, Bluetooth settings and there is a menu item pairing per devices and it remembers uh, my eighth generation iPad so I am going to press the FM button where it says press the FM button to release pairing so that's gone so the camera doesn't remember anything about the iPad and then we need to go into the settings on the iPad to make sure that we release both the Bluetooth and uh, and the Wi-Fi information about the uh, about the GR. So you can see down here we've got a GR 5D. That is that one. So go in and say forget that device. So that's gone. And then in Wi-Fi down here. Right. Seems to have gone. So, nothing saved there. Ah. So this is the uh, the Apple App Store. Work with your iPad and your iPhone. I'm just going to write GR World. Ah. There it is. You can see I've got a, cl a cloud icon over here because I've already downloaded it once. But now we're just doing it again. So it downloads and installs. And it's there. Go in there now. And on the phone, on the camera, sorry. I'm going to make sure that Wi-Fi is activated. Not, sorry, not Wi-Fi, Bluetooth is activated on the camera. And we agree to these here. We say next, next, next. You'll see this the first time you start up. And we say get started. And we need to give it some permissions. So we're going to say yes, it's allowed to have full access to the photo. So it can go in there and store. Location information. Yeah, we're going to do that while we're using the app. We'll let it use location information. Right, so we're going to hit start app. And say allow. And it, now because we deleted everything, we're going to register a new camera. We want a GR3 or a GR3X. And we're going to say allow here. And we already updated. It's telling you here that it needs to be on firmware version 2 for the GR3 or firmware version 1.5 for the GR3X so make sure you've done that and I say already updated uh, because I've deleted all the information both the app the the Wi-Fi the Bluetooth info I can say this is the first time there and we're going to say search for cameras and I might need to go into no it's already found it lovely so I'm going to hit that now. And uh, it might present some information on the camera screen now. The connection to the camera Bluetooth failed. Okay, I need to go into pairing mode, I think. And right now my uh, execute pairing, there you go. Register new camera, hit that. Search for cameras. Camera is uh, in pairing mode now. So we're back to this screen. So let's hope we uh, get a connection from this one. Lovely. Now it's asking for a code, and that's on the camera screen, on the rear screen. So 154 and then 559. It changes this code out. It's like multi factor authentication. So we hit pair. And that's it. Process is completed. And the camera is now registered. And that should be it. We've got a Wi-Fi toggle button down here. Now it's uh, interesting to see now if it can uh, activate Wi-Fi all on its own instead of me having to go into uh, the iPad settings. So we're going to take a look at 
import images here and it says do you want to join this network yes I do and it should exchange the password information you can see up at the top of the screen there the Bluetooth icon is blinking and that's uh, should be an indication that it's um, working there and I just hit allow and now we have a connection so that works so I can import images um, camera settings here got some camera settings we can look at and change if we wanted to change the name of it up at the top there I don't want to do any of that but then again we can get back into the very disappointing remote shooting so that's it now it's set up and uh, I can start transferring images if I want to um, for me though I will be continuing to use the image sync app on my phone when I uh, when I go out traveling with the Rico GR3 both because of uh, the the image transfer options are pretty much the same um, but also uh, the remote shooting is much better so that's it that's the setup um, hope you enjoyed that uh, yeah let's hope the future brings an improvement to this app okay bye for now